And we're going to start with what happened on Monday night and where the Pittsburgh Steelers are now at six and two, and in particular where they are at the quarterback position. And again, I think that this is a great tribute to Mike Tomlin as a head coach, um, who he's been as a head coach, his resolve as a head coach, his instincts as a head coach, all of it. There's a reason why a guy survives in a place where the standard is what it is in Pittsburgh for 18 years. And I think Mike Tomlin's showing it to us again this year um, and his ability to maintain that standard, um, even through a tricky quarterback situation. And I mean, let's face it, that the, the quarterback situation in general in Pittsburgh has been tricky since Ben Roethlisberger retired. And managing it and handling it and having his team now at 6-2 and two and in a place to go forward um, in a meaningful way. The defense, we know what the defense is. The defense has been very, very good from the jump since their opener in Atlanta. They've played at a pretty high level. Um, the offense, the offensive line has, has been an issue, but they've got young players up front. They've had to work through that. Um, it's always been and, and, and always was going to be an offense that was going to lean on the run game and Harris and Warren and those guys. Um, and so really the big question was twofold. The big question was, um, what was going to happen at quarterback and related to that, what was going to happen at receiver. Um, and right now it looks like they've got their quarterback position in a very good spot. And again, this is um, in large part due to the instincts Mike Tomlin has in running his program, the way that he's run it and putting his team in the position he's put it in, in the passing game. And um, to me, really that starts with the ability to kind of see the forest through the trees um, look, like a couple of weeks ago, there were a lot of people in that building, in the locker room, on the coaching staff that felt like Justin Fields had done enough to win the job, that he, he had done enough to have the team at four and two um, and was showing enough progress to hold on to the job and for the team to rally behind him. And I think the team very much would have rallied behind Justin Fields. He's a very popular player in that locker room. He's a good fit for the franchise. He's a good fit for the coaching staff in so many different ways. Um, he... He personifies um, what a Steeler is, and um, the best part about him was there was still upside. There was still growth out there for him to go and chase. And so when Mike Tomlin made the decision to go to Russell Wilson ahead of the team's seventh game, I think there were some, like I use this term before, arched eyebrows in the Steelers building. Mike Tomlin knew what he was doing. And I think, you know, there's a logistical piece to this and there's a performance piece to this. The logistical piece to it is if you go to Justin, if you, if you stick with Justin Fields there, it's probably very difficult to turn around and go back to um, go back to Russell Wilson afterward. In fact, I think th some people would argue it would have been tough to keep Russell Wilson on the roster if you move away from him and stick with Justin Fields in that spot. Um, so effectively, what you're doing by going to Russell Wilson going into week eight is you're saying, OK, right now we're going to give ourselves two shots at this and we're going to go to Russell Wilson now. If it doesn't work now, then in a week or two or three or four, we can go back to Justin Fields and no harm, no foul. Um, I don't know that you would have those two shots if you had decided to stick with Justin Fields there. So logistically, you're giving your team two shots of getting the quarterback position right with two pretty talented guys. Um, and then there's the performance part of it. And, you know, one of the things that I think, you know, you, 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 you miss when you're analyzing the quarterback position in a vacuum is how it fits into the makeup of the entire team. And one thing that, you know, the Steelers could really use based on the way they're built. And again, I'll go back to what I said earlier, the defense, the run game is a downfield passing game. And the reason why, if you can scare teams downfield, you open things up, up underneath for the run game. If you've got a more effective run game, that helps your defense. You're playing the style of football that you want to play. And, you know, part of this was the belief on Mike Tomlin's part that Russell Wilson would be able to open up the downfield passing game, and we've already seen that. Um, we saw it with the way George Pickens came alive against the Jets in week eight and then in week seven, and then in week eight, um, you know, against the Giants, we saw – a passing game that, again, looked like it was dangerous downfield, looked like it was able to threaten the other team downfield, which opened things up for the running game. And there were two plays in particular where I think it really stuck out. One was the the corner route he threw to, to Calvin Austin for a touchdown. And then the other was the absolute dime down the field 
um, that he threw to George Pickens, which set up the field goal at the end of the game uh, or near the end of the game to give the Steelers a little bit more separation. So um, you're getting more out of guys like Austin and Pickens. You're opening things up for the run game. And, you know, this is enabling a style of play that's really going to highlight the strength of the team, which is the defense. Um, so I like where the Steelers are. Russell Wilson's played better than I thought he would. I think Russell Wilson's playing better than maybe some people even in Pittsburgh thought he would. Um, and, you know, again, if this is a flash in the pan in a month, they can go back to Justin Fields. If it keeps going the way that it's going, well, you know, then you have your answer. A quarterback, you keep developing Justin Fields behind Russell Wilson and you ride Russell from here on out. But it looks like a Russell Wilson who's been humbled a little bit, who is playing the sort of game he played in Seattle, which is um, to get out and, um, and, 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 and work out of moving pockets and then hit with the deep ball. Like that's what he did well when he was a Seahawk. We're seeing that as a Steeler. Maybe part of it is the experience of going through what he had to go through in Denver and getting knocked down. Either way, right now it's working for the Steelers. They're 6-2 and, and all alone atop the AFC North.